Welcome to Victory Yay. Welcome to Victory Yay. Welcome to my live stream. Welcome to my live stream. Today, I have 67 overall. Talon, Horton, Tucker, Silver Card. Six feet, four inches height. NBA Live Mobile Bass Player, Los Angeles Laker. It's pretty rare, this card, to find it in the auction house. Inside scoring 66. Outside, so outside scoring 69. Playmaking 64. Dunking 74. Layup 66. Mid-range shot 69. Three-point shot 62. So let's check out the rest of the stats. He is in this game. Hey, hello, Zach. Thank you for coming. How are you doing tonight? So we have lineup elves and a mummy. Lakers players. Hello, Obvious P. Thank you for coming. How are you doing tonight? Let me put this right here. So he is in this game. Uh, he had an amazing preseason. Happy to hear that, Zach. I'm good as well. And uh, Hello, Ty Hathaway. How are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Talon Horton Tucker, Laker jerseys. You know, he is in this game. He's a silver card. Right here. Talon Horton Tucker right here. Slam dunk. I am good as well. Thank you for coming. Very cool that he's in the game. What should, I, what should you use for a starting lineup? I think mean, you said a Curry or Damian Lillard. Three-point shot. I prefer Curry's. I think in the game, a three-point shot is the best, the best card. But if you have that Damian Lillard, like uh, Damian Lillard, the ultimate pass, Damian Lillard or something like that, then that's one of the best cards in the game. Out of bounds. Well, we still have the elf. We have a mummy as well. Hello, Carly Vin. Thank you for coming. Talon Horton Tucker. He's in this game. Number 11 in this player. I think he wears number... He's wore number 5 and wore number 11 before. Born uh, November 25, 2000. He's 20 years old right now. From Chicago, Illinois. Nice shot right there. Talon Horton Tucker. Let me see right there. Oh, we get stolen. So I'm going to change my thumbnail really quickly. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm going to check your comments a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to go change my thumbnail really quickly. We're still playing. All right, so right here we got the elf. We got the, the mommy thing. Oh, we get stolen. Get the ball stolen. But yeah, I prefer Curry's. Three-point shot. But it depends on your overall and stuff like that. So Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard is also, they always have nice cards as well. But I prefer the Curry's for three-point shots. I think their AI is a little bit better. Talon Horton Jr. with a dunk. With a dunk right here. Only a silver card, but it's actually pretty rare now. Because I think a lot of people want to play with this card. Talon Horton Tucker. Let's see if he is uh, right here. Nice shot right here. Nice shot. Long mid-range shot. Long mid-range shot right there. Very nice. And today, the uh, the NBA Live Mobile, they said that they're, they have a blog now. They used to have a blog a long time ago, but uh, they didn't really write anything. But they have a blog now. Looks like. All right. So, nice shot from. All right. So, let's go right here. We have Laker jerseys from the monthly master LeBron James. Town Horn Tucker slam dunk right here. And I hope uh, EA, NBA Live Mobile, they give um, a higher overall Town Horton Tucker card next time. If there is in future campaigns or in season five. All right, so. Continuing playing right there. We get some rewards right here. Very cool. And then uh, right here, I'm going to write something. I'm... Right here, just making a shot right there. 
All right. Um, we have to go to either season or La arena because now it won't go. But he's a shooting guard. He is a shooting guard. Let's put him right here in the lineup. 67 overall. Base card. Let's go to... Uh, you can actually put him in any lineup because he's balanced. Interesting that some of the some of the silver cards from the beginning uh, are balanced, and the other cards uh, you have to put in. You have to put in a lot of stuff. You have to put them in the right lineup. All right. Uh, wait right there for uh, last live stream it ended uh, suddenly so sorry about that thank you guys that came last time we have Lana Hawks uh right now we're playing against a, a team of Lana. he's got silver cards as well so the ro the robot the AI uh, put us together right here let's put this right here okay right here Talon Horton Tucker. Hopefully he uh, plays a lot more on the Lakers. Nice slam dunk right there. Nice shot right there. Very nice. Yeah. There's a lot of silver cards in the auction house. Sometimes they actually go for a lot. But there's like a Udonis Haslam. There's um, there's Anthony Bennett when he was on the Houston Rockets. When he was signed by the Houston Rockets. So, you know, they have a lot of interesting silver cards. In fact, I like looking at the silver cards. Just to see uh, what's in what what card there is, um, you see, see some players like Duncan Robinson in the last season. Of course, um, people do not know who he was. He didn't play much, so he has silver card. But now uh, he on the Miami, he's played a lot. And he's played really well, and so he's give, he's uh, you see him get a lot of cards now, even masters of a promo. Duncan Robinson. So it's awesome to see uh, players improve and uh, get better, right? And then the, because of their play, they all get more cards. Right there, three point shot. Oh, no. See, my, my opponent has a lot of silver cards right there. Cristiano uh, from the Bulls. Right here, Dunk with Mummy. Have a mummy card for Halloween, a rare Halloween card. Accidentally dunked right there. You have a McKinney from the Golden State Warriors. All right, so, but this is a Talon Horton Tucker gameplay. You have a, he has a John Moran. Oh, mummy, nice block. That Well, you see that block? It's like a Le, well, LeBron James block, Andre Iguodala in the NBA Finals a couple years ago. Talon Horton Tucker, three-point shot. Mummy with the rebound, just right in the right place. The mummy is six feet four inches. Uh, I did a live stream with that card the first day. It was before Christmas, Christmas Eve. So check out that gameplay if you want to see that. But uh, this is gonna be more score with Talon Horton Tucker. I think two K uh, Talon Horton Tucker is like a seventy overall. But in this game is sixty seven overall. But just happy he's in the game. Alex Caruso wasn't even in the game last season. Season 3. They actually just made... For this season, uh, they made him a card. And then now he's got... First a silver card, but then a lot of golden ticket cards. A lot of uh, different other tickets. Ooh, that's very nice right there. Nice steal right there, right here. Okay, oh, just sets it up for a three-point shot. Oh, he missed that shot. Oh, right there. Oh, Mummy gives him a... Uh, we made that shot. I don't know if it counts. But we made that shot right there. So I just changed my thumbnail so it's more a Talon Horton Tucker picture. Right here. So if you have a lot of items in the auction house, you should definitely claim your items soon. Because if you don't claim them, um, uh, you can't uh, take them to Season 5. You can't take them to Season 5, unfortunately. So... Make sure to claim your items. 
there's like a limit as you see today on the blog to how many items you could um take with you and so NBA cash you could take your NBA cash with you on one account where I did not ever spend my NBA cash uh this account right here I have 11 um uh, thousand nba cash so i could buy a if you look at the new promo with the ghost players i could buy a ghost player right now so uh they usually if there's a new card it'll cost like uh ten thousand nba cash and so you have nba cash you could buy a player so you could buy a player and then next year the auction house you could uh sell that player on the first day and then you'll get like one million coins two million coins so that's one way to make coins in the game is to buy the, with your NBA cash, um, buy it and then uh, s sell the card. But uh, NBA cash, you know, it's very hard to get. Uh, some people who are money spent, account though, I spend it uh, for promos and stuff like that. You see the 110 live pass James Harden. A lot of, uh, a lot of people got it from the presents, a lot of them presents. We have Vancouver Grizzly jerseys because uh, this is my other lineup. Talton, where's Horton Tucker? Where is he at? All right. All right. It's very, it's kind of hard to uh, we'll get the ball stolen. Nice shot right there. We have the Vancouver Grizzly jerseys and they look really nice. Definitely for sure. Let me see where where is he at? Horton Tucker. All right, nice, nice uh, goes in for a dunk. Nice shot right there. It lags a lot in arena, so let's watch out. I actually want this ultimate pass to score. I want him to score. So it's so just just to uh, record his uh, card art. All right, right here, run right shot right there. Nice one handed shot from Talon Horton Tucker. Nice shot right there. I would go season, but season. There's another game from last time, so nice shot right there. Horton Tucker standing there on three point. No, oh, wide open. Oh, blocked. Shot blocked, unfortunately. LeBron James blocking yeah, against his his team right now, the LA Lakers. Let's go uh, right there. Horton, Horton Tucker. Oh, out to the Kumpo. Nice alley oop. He misses the alley oop. Nice shot. Nice shot from Kyrie Irving. And uh, if you have multiple accounts right now, I think the best thing to do, what I'm doing right now, is uh, you know every seven hours, go uh, play that event to get pr your presents. Guaranteed gold present. And sometimes you can pull something higher, an elite present, an ultimate present. And so you go uh, just play that event. Um if you can't play on, if you have multiple accounts, I think that is the best thing to do. You'll you'll get a present. Sometimes you get a nice player. On this account, I got the 109. Uh, a lot of 109 players, Colin Sexton and stuff like that from presents. And then I also got uh, my best pool. I think this is my best pool of NBA Live Mobile. I got a, first I got a, a normal present and then it turned into a, uh, Ultimate present. And then the ultimate present contained 112 holiday Kyrie Irving. Uh, so I got 112 pool. Which is pretty awesome. Horton Tucker. What a shot. Pretty well awesome to pull 112 card. I think that's the highest pool I have all season. And I don't really open that many. So uh, I could sell that card. It's, but it's only selling for 200k. And so uh, it's not really worth selling. A lot of people already have that card. A lot of people have pulled that card from the presents. I see a lot of um, 112 Kyrie Irving holiday player from the presents. Buzzer beater. Three point shot. All right. It was actually a mid range shot. He stepped on the line. That's cool. Okay, that did not lag, which is great. So hopefully show down. Uh, yes. So we're going right here. Welcome to my live stream if you're new. Welcome to my live stream. 
Only 28 seconds left. Uh, so let's look at the auction house a little bit. Uh, let's look at the, the silver cards really quickly. You see Anthony Bennett, right? Houston Rocket. You know, Milton, Brown, Johnson, Haslam. But sometimes you can see a, a Cristiano Fenicio. Sometimes you can see a rare card, like a Talon Horton Tucker. So sometimes you can find cards like that. There's a Markel Fultz. And he's a pretty good player. There's a Bismack Biombo, a Diallo, TJ Leaf. So there's some rare players right there. Uh, Poole, Jordan Poole, Nasir Little, Frank Kamensky, Cody Martin. You know, maybe you are a, a fan of the Charlotte Hornets and then you want every player from the team. And then some players you can't find. And there's a there's a Martin right here. There's a Courtney Lee here. There's a Nasir Little. Maybe you're a fan of the Toronto Raptors or you're a fan of the Charlotte Hornets. And you want to collect every player for your team. Make sure to look at the silver cards right there. All right, so we'll go right here to showdown. Sorry for the wait to showdown. Showdown, you always have to wait. But waiting right now is actually giving me more stamina, so I don't use that many stamina bottles. So it's going to take a long time for me to claim my items. I pretty much have already claimed most of my items. In terms of uh, selling stuff, because I did, I claimed it off camera, because I was trying to get um, the Ghost players, Lamel Ball, Ghost player, and so I claimed most of my items. So a lot of stuff I have are unclaimed stuff. So it's gonna take me a long time. I might live stream someday and just claim all my stuff, and that will be probably not the most uh, fun thing to watch, but. You know, I have to spend some time to claim my stuff and then uh, either sell it again or probably in this case, probably coin sell it because uh, sometimes you forget, right? Six feet, four inches. He's an NBA champion, okay? Talon Horton Tucker. He was on the Lakers last season when they won in the Walt Disney World Bob Ball. He was in the Bob Ball. So, he didn't play much, but he did a win. So, maybe let's just say he plays really well, then another team wants him, gives him an, uh, another opportunity. So, then maybe he'll go to another team one day and play a lot of minutes, play, become a starter, maybe even an all star one day. That could happen, you know. Because, you know, the Lakers, they have already have a lot of great players. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and everything. There's not enough playing time. But it's awesome to see that he uh, had an amazing preseason. And the Lakers defeated the Clippers uh, in the preseason, even though the Clippers had Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and stuff like that. All because of Talon Horton Tucker. A very long name, right? Very long name, Talon Horton Tucker. And a very interesting name right there. Keep thinking of P.J. Tucker. Keep thinking of P.J. Tucker cards, which is interesting. I haven't seen a silver card in a while. Let's take a full court shot. Let's play a full court shot next to the referee. Does he touch the basket? No. But it does touch the, the hoop a little bit. So I'm going to check my live stream really quickly. Uh, thank you guys for coming. And if you're still here... Uh, Appreciate it. Hi, Rebounder. How are you doing tonight? We got Talon Horton Tucker gameplay. He's in the game. Okay, no problem. 67 overall bronze card. I mean, silver card. Did you know he was in this game? Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Talon Horton Tucker. Nice collab. What a dunk. Who was in the game? Talon Horton Tucker from the Lakers. He has a silver card in this game. 
It's pretty rare because he's very popular now. In the beginning of season, and uh, you could um probably get this card easy easily because people didn't know you, who he was. But in the preseason, he played really well. So I think a lot of people are going to um, a lot of people got this card already. Yeah, Talon Horton Tucker. There's a Matt Thomas also. I know you like Matt Thomas. He's also a silver card in the game. I think you did gameplay with him before. So you excited for season five? It's almost here. Right there for a shot, shot right there. The Brooklyn Nets Brooklyn Nets lost to the Grizzlies. I think Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are not playing in that game, right? I think they're resting or something. Well, sorry to hear that. They just lost twice. I checked the box, box score earlier. It looked like um, they're not even playing. Right there. See. All right. Nice shot right there. Nice shot right there. Number 11, Talon Horton Tucker with a shot. Yeah, I don't think Kyrie Irving was playing. Because I think they're a little bit tired. Um. But I don't know. I didn't see them score anything right there. Nice shot right there. Nice shot right there. Ronnie Turioff scores. Another Laker. Former Laker. All my videos are for educational purposes. So we got to use this game to learn about different players. Uh, you know, their history. NBA news. NBA history. Kyle Anderson dropped 28 points. Awesome. Hello, Ball Nation. Y'all, thank you for coming. How are you doing tonight? Kyle Anderson is like a little bit like a Magic Johnson type. Play for UCLA. We have Talon Horton Tucker. And did you know he was in this game, Ball Nation? He's a silver card. 67 overall. Bye, Rebounder. Thank you for coming. Nice shot right there from Magic Johnson. I think it's a clutch. Oh, it's a Giannis right here. Uh, where is Talon Horton Tucker? Nice dunk right. Oh, right. Walked right. Yes, he was a Laker. He won a championship with the Lakers. He was on the Lakers last season, but uh, he didn't play much. But then, now preseason, he played really well, so he's very popular now. So I want to do gameplay of him. And I wasn't sure if he was in this game or not, but I found his silver card. And in 2K21, uh, he is a 70 overall. That's awesome. Rajon Rondo. Rajon Rondo right now is with the Atlanta Hawks. But he was a Laker. And so uh, they do have cards of him. Right there. Yes. Nice shot right there. Dunk. Some some players are not in the game sometimes, you know. Um, I think he plays for the Toronto Raptors. He's a Japanese player in the NBA. Uh, Ken uh, Watanabe. He's not in the game. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Tyler Khan, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Ball Nation, all right, have a great night. Have a great night. Thanks for coming. Have a good night's sleep. We have Talon Horton Tucker, a legendary player. Just kidding about that, but he is a preseason MVP. John Moran got injured today. Oh, sorry to hear that. I did not know. Yes, I remember you. I do, I do remember you. How have you been? I know that. Hopefully he gets better soon. Hopefully he gets better soon. I know Kawhi got injured uh, recently. Uh, that's very sad. 
Oh, wow. That's very serious. Oh, I did not see the game yet, so... Wish him well. Pray prayers to him and his family. You don't you don't want to uh it's sad seeing players uh hurt. Okay, so right here you got to put this right here. So I got to line up uh, some mommy and elves. And mommy is from ha Rare Halloween Fiend. Have you seen my showdown game? You can see that. And Arena uh, is a different lineup. So you, it's just normal players. Matal and Horton Tucker. How you been? Uh, you s I haven't seen you in a while. But how His full name is actually Talon Jay Lee. Horton Tucker. And Horton Tucker has a little bit of a dash in between the two words. My opponent has a 109 Paul George. Let's go do a tip. Okay, so let's give ball Talon. Hello, Ma Malik. Thanks for coming. How are you doing? Everybody, I hope you, hope you had a nice Christmas uh, break and... Hope everybody had a nice Christmas break. Anybody still here? So Talon Horton Tucker was actually uh, in the 2009. Great. Oh, awesome. Nice to hear that. Me too. I, I'm good. A little tired, but... We're still grinding. Nice shot right there. So Talon Horton Tucker was in the... 2019 NBA draft. So he was actually drafted. He was the 46th overall pick. He played at the University University of Iowa State Cyclones. Nice dunk right there. So I don't know much about him, so I'm going to look up uh, a little bit of it. Uh, of where he was drafted, what team he was drafted by. Because I honestly do not know much about him. Where he's six overall pick. So he was drafted by the Orlando Magic. He was drafted by Orlando Magic with the 46 overall pick. And then um, he was later traded to the Lakers. So the Lakers have had him since rookie year. He's not even that old. It's from 2019, so it wasn't that long ago. In uh, Iowa State, he was only there for one year. He was, only, he was a freshman. So. And uh, let's look at the number one overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft. Well, the number one overall pick in the, two, in the 2019 NBA draft was Zion Williamson. Then there was a uh, number two overall pick was John Morant. Number three overall pick was RJ Barrett. So it's for Talon Horton Tucker it is only his second year in the NBA. So he's not a journeyman or anything like that. I didn't know much about him. I thought uh, it was he was a journeyman. Oh, sorry. I didn't see your comment. The Patriots are losing, you said. Sorry to hear that. The Patriots. I know that they're not having a great season. But, you know, if Tom Brady, what the greatest quarterback, leaves your team, it's going to be very hard to have a great season. I thought I wanted Cam Newton to do well. But, unfortunately, um, they're not playing well. They're going to they're gonna miss the playoffs. I heard Tom Brady's doing well, though, on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, Tom Horton Tucker. With a fading uh, inside paint shot. Oh, so you you think that um, the wide receivers are not very good on the Patriots? I don't really watch much football. But hopefully next year they'll improve. Uh, they get better wide receivers or something like that. If Cam Newton is still the quarterback next next year... 
Uh, I know he's had a lot of injuries over his career. And I, I, I believe the Carolina Panthers waived him or released him. But he was a former MVP. Your best receiver was undrafted. Oh, okay, okay. So he's he's not that good. So hopefully you guys get um, better players for your team. You're basically your guys' team is basically a little bit in a rebuilding mode because the greatest quarterback ever left your team, and he's he's old. Tom Brady, he's getting he's getting old. I don't think Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think they're going to be in the playoffs, right? But I don't think they'll win. I don't think they'll win the Super Bowl. They're a little bit too old. Rob, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, but I totally agree. Rob Gronkowski, I believe is how he's pronounced his name. And then um, a lot of older players. So I'm surprised the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made the playoffs. I think they made the playoffs. Or maybe it's too soon, but uh, I know they're winning a little bit, right? All right, so let's go right here. Shooting guard. So I, I want to be honest, I don't know much about Town Horton Tucker. Oh, congratulations to the Warriors. On their first win. Congratulations. You guys deserve that win. Is um you guys were losing a lot of games. Tom Horton Tucker, three point shot. So I'll be honest, I don't know much about Tom Horton Tucker, so I learned a lot of information uh tonight. So he's not even that old. He's still he's only a second year. And he's on the Lakers, a veteran team. With LeBron James that want to win the championship. So, um, just because he's not playing doesn't mean he's a bad player. He's just very young. So, the fact that he's playing well isn't that even isn't even that surprising. It's because he's, you know, he didn't have enough time, playing time last season. And he's developing, growing every time. I think my opponent has a Devontae Graham. And I also have a Devontae Graham. Okay, so nice shot right there. James Wiseman, he might win rookie of the year. He's been playing really well. James Wiseman. Nice shot. Yes. For sure, for sure. He's on a veteran team, so he's not gonna get much playing time. So uh, it's nice that the preseason he got to play a lot. And I hope NBA Live Mobile eventually gives uh, Talon Horton Tucker a lot of higher overall cards as well. I think the only card in the game that he has is this silver card, 67 overall. Talon Horton Tucker right there, three point shot. Misses that shot. Couple of games. Yes, I do think that. You'll probably win Rookie of the Year right now. So, you'll get to see a lot of James Wiseman this year. How do you, what do you think of uh, Andrew Wiggins right now? What do you think of him? What's your opinion on Andrew Wiggins? Is he playing well? Obvious Pete, thank you for coming. Appreciate the support and uh, have a great night. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. He isn't playing well? Oh, okay. I haven't checked his box scores that much, but I know that in the highlights he's been, been shooting the ball a lot. And I know that, yes, so hopefully he does play well. I want him to succeed. I know Kelly Oubre hasn't been playing well. Uh, he hasn't made a three-point shot, I believe. And then the only thing he scored is dunks.
more confidence and then maybe oh, I hope he get it gets it together. He did win rookie of the year a long time ago. Andrew Wiggins. Which goes to show you just because you win rookie of the year doesn't mean that you are going to um have the be an all star or be a Hall of Famer automatically. So some people they win rookie of the year, it's only for one year. One year they are really good. So Andrew Wiggins has won rookie of the year before and other players. Um Go Horton Tucker, number eleven. Nice shot. Oh, great defense right there. So you can't really do anything right there. Playing against a real opponent. He's got Memphis Grizzlies jerseys. Thank you for coming. Appreciate the support. Welcome to my channel. If anybody's new, welcome to my channel. Nice, oh, that was a nice uh, set of um, movements right there. Out of bounds. I feel like those are, because it's against a real opponent, those things happen with a real opponent. Yes, that, and James Wiseman, right? Yes, that card. I, I played with that card before. Very awesome. Oh, yeah, the World Tour one, right? The World Tour one. I did play with James Wiseman, the NBA draft one. The 2020 NBA draft one. It looks like him and the player. So, uh, very fun to play with. Awesome. You got the world tour, the California uh, player. California player, James Wiseman. All right. And the world tour one. All right. Dunk right there. Oh, you're playing with the NBA draft one. Oh, I did play. With, I did a live stream with that card before. I go and then, well, first uh, released. Uh, well, it's first released a couple. Of, I don't know if, it's been like a month ago or something. But yeah, it's very fun to play with him. It does. He still looks like Lonzo Ball. But James Weissman, he's pretty fun to play with. It looks like him, which is um, I'm very happy to see that. All the he's still wearing number zero, right? Number zero. All the. 2020 NBA draft players have number zero. So if you have Anthony Edwards, he wears number zero. And Lamel, Obi Toppin, all have number zero. All right, so hopefully they give them not their actual numbers um, next season. So Lamel Ball and James Wiseman are the only one, uh, are the only two cards. They're the only two cards who, who, that... Um, Got a second card. The only two players in the 2020 NBA draft that have got second cards so far. You want that Lamel Ball? The Lamel Ball player card, it, it is, it looks, that card, it, it looks exactly like Lonzo Ball. So you have Lonzo Ball, it's pretty much the same thing. Except his number is number zero. And uh, the 2000 dra 2020 NBA draft card. Of Lamel Ball. It's just uh, pretty much just like Lonzo Ball. But the other one, the other one, the Ghost Lamel Ball, 115 overall, he has like a buzzer beater. And the buzzer beater, you can activate it all the way. If you go to half court, you can activate it. So that's really the only difference. It doesn't really have any, it doesn't have dunk animations. It doesn't really have that much dunk animation. Actually, the 2020 uh, draft one. It has some dunk, dunk animation a little bit. I remember James Wiseman, he has a little bit of dunk animation. If I remember correctly. But I hope to the, uh, Season 5, they have a lot of those. Uh, have the rest of the 2020 NBA Draft players. We're going to uh, play another game. Going to the end right there. I just saw that Talon Horton Tucker just scored six points. Six points. 
Oh, we're gonna see Lamelo Ball. Right, my opponent has Lamelo Ball right here, and the NBA Draft one, one hundred twelve. I think he's actually one hundred eleven overall. Wait, does that does that still look like Lamelo Ball, or does it look like Lonzo Ball? Looks like Lonzo Ball still. I thought they changed it. It's still looking like Lonzo Ball. Sorry for the lag. Where's he at? And he's wearing number zero, right? Yep, number zero still. We're back up, back up right here. Don't lag. Nice shot right there. Very laggy in arena. Pray for John Morant. Yeah, prayers to him. Dad, you got it. Very serious injury. Someone just told me some. Very sad. Very sad to hear that. I hope it wasn't like a Gordon Gordon Hayward uh, injury when Gordon Hayward's first game in Boston Celtic, and then I uh, hope. Right. I have to go look up, but I haven't watched the game yet. Oh wow, a month. Well, wow, that's a long time. Looks very serious. Yeah, it looks like it was a very serious injury. Obviously, you're back. I'll say awesome. Thanks for coming back. Usually when I hear, I heard this it says ankle sprain. Usually when I hear ankle sprain, it doesn't seem that bad, but but it looks like it was very serious, very nasty, um, very serious, scary looking injury. And Kawhi's injury a couple of days ago was also very scary. Looks like uh, Adrian Wojcikowski on Twitter, he said that they're going to have an MRI soon. But they said no fracture. So, um, hopefully he gets better and heals up. Sad to hear that, though. And he was playing so well as well. And uh, he was my wild card to win MVP. Before the season, uh, Luka Doncic, I think everybody's going to pick Luka Doncic to win MVP. But now the Dallas Mavericks are not playing really well. They they were losing a lot of games. They lost their first two games before the Clippers. Now, now your comment went by really quickly. But yes, it will. Yes, it will. I think you're asking if the, the game will stop. Yes, the game will stop for like... It looks like two days. The last time I, I read from the blog. If you go on the NBA info, um, the news in this game, it says it stops for like two two days before. So I think it's I think it says um, if I remember correctly, so NBA Live Mobile season four will stop. I think it was uh, January thirteen. So they have two days to. Um, they're probably already uh, created created the game. Damian Lillard was an MVP. Yeah, some people like the really like the Portland Trailblazers, and it, it is always possible. But looks like uh, CJ McCollum is actually playing better than him right now. But to win MVP, you have to uh, pretty much, for the most part, have the best team in the NBA, or at least win your be the number one seed. Usually, not always. So this is why I'm saying for Luka Doncic, if Prozingis is injured, and Luka Doncic, and I don't even if he's playing really well, if the Dallas Mavericks uh, can't win, uh, I don't think he'll win MVP. So we'll see uh, who wins MVP. Could be LeBron James or Anthony Davis. Yeah, Luka, Seth, Giannis. It's usually those great players, right? And if Golden State, if they can't win, if they can't win, uh, it'll be hard for Curry to win. He'll win MVP. 
Giannis is probably harder for him to win MVP because he's already won it twice. So people don't probably don't want to see a uh, third time repeating. So it'll be harder for him. And I also think Anthony Davis could win MVP, you know. If he dominates, Anthony Davis probably could win MVP. Underrated team. If he if the Clippers start winning a lot of games, I think he could win MVP. Kawhi Leonard, who I don't think I think that's missing on his resume is that he's never won MVP before. Regular season. But he does that load management stuff. That load management where he's rest a lot. And that probably hurts him from winning MVP. But he's never won regular season MVP yet. Kawhi Leonard. Won NBA Finals MVP. But hasn't won that yet. Also, uh, Kevin Durant could win MVP. Uh, uh Kyrie Irving can win MVP, right? If the Brooklyn Nets play really well, uh, but uh, my dark, my wild card to win MVP was John Morant. He's uh, a little, little, little young, so the voters sometimes they don't want to vote for the young, young, young players. Yeah, Kyrie Irving is playing really well right now, so maybe it could be him. Maybe he could win MVP. It is possible. So yeah, obvious P, uh, for sure they they will uh, end the game maybe two or three days before. Yeah, early. Yeah, sleeper is uh, Trey Young, right? Yeah, Trey Young is also that's also a player. He's playing really well. Atlanta Hawks are actually a really good team. He could definitely win MVP, although he's also very young. But he's, he came in the NBA the same time as Luka Doncic. So, if Luka could win the MVP, Trey Young could also win. Have the, one of the best teams in the NBA. Not always, though. You know when Russell Westbrook won MVP? The Oklahoma City Thunder, they were not the best team in the NBA. I think they were like a a 6th seed or 7th seed in the West. So you don't always have to win. Um, you don't always have to have the best team in the NBA, but most of the time you do. As you see with Giannis, two-time MVP, usually the Bucs were, I believe, the best team in the NBA record-wise in the regular season. So Town Horton Tucker right here. Let's shoot a ball from Staples Center. Oh, Jason Tatum. Yeah, that's another great player. Yeah, he could win MVP. Boston Celtics, if they have a really great regular season, they're like number one in the East. He could definitely win MVP. And yeah, right now he is a... He looks like he's going to be a Hall of Famer for sure, yeah. Ooh, nice shot right there. Very nice looking shot. Missed that shot. So I played this game before in season three. The auction house will stop at like... Maybe four or five days before uh, the game resets. And if you notice right now, the. What is that called? Uh, you know that, that event where you have to play. Let me look at it really quickly. This event, the sharpshooter, or the lockdown, and then the street lineup, and you get that card and stuff like that. You get those warm up points. That has, uh, that has ended for me. Like, I, I don't. You can't play it no more. So they are they already stopped that. So for sure, a lot of stuff in the game will stop. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna finish off my my season game from last time. So this this time doesn't have this game doesn't have Talon Horton Tucker. So I'm trying to not play Arena too much because Arena will lag. Is it buffering? Sorry about that. It's laggy. So this is my Charlotte Hornets. I did hear about that, about Curry. I didn't watch it, but I did hear about it. Awesome. He's he's a legend. Curry's a legend. 
So whenever Lamel Ball plays, I usually do kind of like a recreation. It's almost like my series. So it's like um, Charlotte Hornet players. And then I got a... Instead of Lamel Ball, I got Lonzo Ball. But it's, you just play this game, he's the kind of same player, same card. And in this game, he's where it's number... Lonzo, of course, Lamel Ball wears number two right now. And Lonzo Ball wears number two. And then, hello, GM. Thank you for coming. How are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Hope you had a nice Christmas. And I uh, hope you have a great new year. Happy new year to you. Happy new year to you as well. Malik and uh, Obvious P. Even though that's still a couple of days away. All right, so we have, uh, for a couple of minutes, we have Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball. And then, after the fourth quarter, then I, I need to get more stamina. Then I will. Okay. Happy, yes, Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year to you as well. Oh, nice, nice down PJ Washington. If you notice, P.J. Washington, his, his face is kind of um, white out. His face is a little bit um, strange looking. The player right here. With a block right here. All right, so. Malik Monk actually missed that shot. Turner. All right, so let's go, let's go. It would be a great story if Trey Young wins MVP. That's that's for sure. And before Luka Dantich, that would be a great story. But the Atlanta Hawks are a really good team. They got uh, Danilo Gallinari. They got well, Donovich. So, so they got a lot of veterans now on that team. So they are definitely ready to make the playoffs. We will see if they'll make the playoffs or not, though. All right, see right there, shot right here. Let's try alley oop. Zion has a bright future, definitely for sure, and hopefully he stays healthy. Uh, he, there's always a risk of injury prone, but uh, hopefully he stays healthy, and then hopefully he has a long career. The Pelicans are also a team I think will make the playoffs this year. They're a very talented team. Brandon Ingram is playing really well. He was an all-star last season. And he's probably going to be an all-star again this season. And then Lonzo Ball is older. More confidence. I do think he'll he'll play well. And then... Uh, okay, we got a lineup right here. And also... They have Steven Adams, and that just sounds awesome to have Steven Adams, a veteran player on your team. You got the Elf. Oh, we win the tip. We win the tip. Did you, you guys see that? Sometimes the Elves can win the tip. Against uh, Brooke Lopez. Hello, Golden State Warriors. Thank you for coming. How are you doing today? What do you think about the Mavs win? You mean against the Clippers from la last time, right? They won 51 points. That, Yeah, it's very embarrassing for the Clippers. It's very embarrassing for the Clippers. Um, but happy the Mavs won their first game, so happy for the Mavs. But the Clippers did not have Kawhi Leonard. He was injured. And Paul George, right? Yes, yeah, embarrassing for the Clippers, definitely. For Paul George and Ty Lue as well. So, yeah, you should not be losing 51 points. People are already making fun of uh, Paul George already. Uh, because they the Clippers lost to the Denver Nuggets last season in the bubble. So they definitely should not uh, lose by 51 points. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it is funny, yeah. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what's going on right there. That's not a good sign for the Clippers. 
It looks like they rely on Kawhi Leonard a little bit too much. So. I believe Kawhi Leonard Clippers and then sign with another team. Yeah, Paul George's contract is uh, uh, very long and very, it's very long max deal extension. So, uh, I, I'm not even sure why the Clippers re-signed him to such a big deal. But they, they, trade away, they trade away a lot of their draft picks to get him. Get him from OKC. Obviously not a great deal. As you see right now, uh, John Wall had a huge deal when he was on the Wizards. And then James Harden had a huge deal. Russell Westbrook. And now they're seeing kind of like a bad contract. Tyler Horton Tucker. Nice Kobe shot right there. As he's a Laker. Lopez sitting down. Oh, we blocked Lopez. Wow, you guys saw it. It happens sometimes. It's rare. We blocked Lo Brooke Lopez right there, sitting down. Kawhi carried the team. Yeah, he's carrying the Clippers for sure. We blocked Brooke Lopez and we won the tip against Brooke Lopez. Where do I think James Harden is going to end up? I do not know for sure. So, but my guess is actually, um, he. I think he will get traded. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure what team. It could be the Miami Heat. It could be the Bucks. Those teams you usually hear. I actually want James Harden to be traded for Paul George. That's the player I actually want him to. Trade. I want James Harden to be traded to the Clippers for Paul George. But I do not think the Houston Rockets won Paul George. And the uh, Clippers also don't have many draft picks anymore. They don't have any draft picks. Because they gave it all to OKC. You want them to come to Warriors? That is also a, a good possibility. That could happen. That could happen. Um, I believe it's for... You give them Draymond Green. Because Draymond Green's contract is really big. And he's getting older. He's not as good at, anymore. And then you put Andrew Wiggins' contract in there. And then... Obviously, you want to keep James Wiseman, but Houston Rockets probably want James Wiseman. And so, I think a deal like that and some draft picks, you probably could get James Harden. James Wiseman, some draft picks, and then to make sal salaries work. Yeah. I said before the season, I don't really... The Warriors team, I know you're a fan of the Warriors, Malik, but uh, that team is... Uh, because Clay Thompson was injured. He can't play anymore. And then Curry. He's a veteran and stuff like that. But Curry is a little bit injury prone sometimes as well. And then you also have a lot of young players that I don't trust. Uh, a lot of the younger players. Eric, uh, Eric Pascal. And then Jordan Poole. James Wiseman is still young. Andrew Wiggins, you can't really trust that. Kelly Arubre Jr. So a lot of the players, uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Curry, though. So I hope the Golden State Warriors play well. I do hope they play well. But I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the young players on that team. And I don't know if they could win. So that's what my opinion right there. I wasn't expecting a great season from them. Yeah, exactly. So, if Clay Thompson comes back, then it's totally different. Then they are a playoff contender with Clay Thompson and Curry. But without Clay Thompson, you know, yeah, the old team. You need Draymond Green to play well as, as well. Now, Curry and James Harden, if they were on the Golden State Warriors, they'll be a very great backcourt team. But, I am i don't know. I i think I could win a championship, right? But you never know. You, you was, if you had to pick between Klay Thompson and James Harden, you still probably pick Klay Thompson. One healthy, one healthy. He's definitely more reliable, I, I would say, with Klay Thompson than James Harden. 
So you you would have a very entertaining team with James Harden and Curry. A lot of people will want to watch that team. But we will see. Yeah, and uh, James Wiseman, you want to keep him. You want to keep him, though. But I think the Rockets will want him in a trade. Yeah, totally. I understand. So he needs a lot of help. So I, I've been watching a little bit of the Golden State Warriors, like the announcers. They say that Andrew Wiggins is going to you know, try to score a lot this year because they need his offense. And Andrew Wiggins is not the most reliable player. He hasn't proven that he's reliable. And Kelly Oubre right now... He's playing really badly for some reason. I don't know why that is. I haven't really watched much Kelly Oubre. But he was on the Phoenix Suns. He was on the Warriors. I don't really know much about him. But it looks like right now he's been very disappointing. Those are big name players. James Harden and Curry. Uh, but it'll be very fun to watch. But we will see. I wonder if they could win a championship together. Now, Clay Thompson is a very underrated player. So, if Clay Thompson, he never really had his own team. Had he had his own team, he pretty much would be like James Harden right now on the Rockets, right? James Harden, he got his own team. And then, offensively, you know, he gets to score all the time. You have the ball in your hands. You play really, you play really well. So Clay Thompson never really had his own team. He's just with Curry. But Clay Thompson had had he had his own team, you probably would be similar to James Harden, maybe even better than James Harden. And then he would win MVP, win all the regular season awards and stuff like that. But because he was on Golden State Warriors. And I remember he came back. They were losing against the OKC Thunder. They were losing against Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant. When Kevin Durant was on OKC. And then it was, I think it was Klay Thompson who had a big game. To help them come back from three three games to one. That was a long time ago. And then they defeated the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, so we're going to go right here. Put some stuff right here. Yes, Clay Thompson's really good, really good player. And along with Curry also very great. And Curry probably overshadows um Clay Thompson sometimes. But Clay Thompson in his own right, one of the greatest, one of the greatest three-point shooters in NBA history. But most people would say Curry's the greatest three-point sh shooter in NBA history. Well, both obviously very great players. And there's a reason why they won all those championships. There's a huge reason why. Okay, let's go to the showdown and there's, now we can play some more. Now, in Portland, you see similar players. Damian Lillard. Uh, you see... CJ McCollum, they're kind of like the Slash Brothers, right? 2.0. But you see how difficult it is to win a championship, right? So, Damian Lillard plays really well. Yeah, you have to give credit to Curry. I definitely think great players at the time. Durant's great as well. But I'll say this about... Uh, CJ McCollum, Damian Lillard is that they're very great players offensively. But it's very hard for them to win the championship. Very hard for them to win. And but on the other hand, Clay Thompson, Curry, uh, you see how easy it is for them to win. That just shows you how great they are. That you can't even really copy them. The Splash Brothers were really special. 
hopefully it continues. You see Kevin Kevin Durant, right? He he came back from the injury, and he looks better than ever. Right, looks the same, and he missed like a year and a half. So maybe it's possible to come back from a serious injury like that. So hopefully Clay Thompson comes back from a serious injury and then comes back and he's the same Clay Thompson. Hopefully. But you know, injuries sometimes they hurt a lot of people's careers, as you see with Derrick Rose. He he was a great player on the Chicago Bulls. Now he's more of a role player. And you see Kobe Bryant when he was old. Kobe Bryant's Yeah, I still be never set set of Splash Brothers. That's very true, and you very good point right there. So sometimes there's just some special players, and Clay Thompson and Curry, the Splash Brothers, are just very special. You, if you think about it, yeah. Even though Damian Lillard is really good, CJ McCollum is really good, they're still not as good as the Splash Brothers. And quite possibly, Trey Young. Sorry about that, buffering. Yeah, sometimes it happens. I don't. I can't really control that. It's my internet or it's my phone or something. Nice dunk right here. LeBron James with a shot right there. Horton Tucker right there with a shot. We're in Lakers Staples Center Court. He's got LeBron James, Contavious uh, Caldwell Pope. Nice shot right there. Horton Tucker with a shot. Let me look at the Laker game very quickly. Lakers winning 69 to 61. And let's look at Talon Horton Tucker. I believe he, he kind of changed his number. Because in this game, he's wearing number 11. He wore number 11 in college at Iowa State. Let me see. Uh, sometimes I see him with number 5. Sometimes I see him with number 11. So right now, he is wearing... Let me just want to make sure. Right now, he's wearing number 5. But I've seen him wear different numbers. Looks like last season he wore number 11. Hello, Neon Trey. Hi, thanks for coming. Nice to see you again. Hope you had a great Christmas. And I hope you have a great New Year as well. Happy New Year to you. I know only a couple of days. Nice shot right there. We got Talon Horton Tucker. Not amazing uh, preseason. Oh, okay. Happy. Contavious Caldwell Pope. What a shot right there. So he's wearing number 11, wearing number 5 before. At Iowa University, Iowa State University, he wore number 11. And it looks like last season he wore number 11. This season he's wearing number 5. So in this game, he's wearing number 11. Oh, have a great night. Thank you for coming, Malik. And um, I hope you have a happy new year. Hope you have a great new year. Take care. And happy holidays as well. So I'll do a little more gameplay. So 15%. Yes, have a great night. Nice to see you again. All right, so we're gonna go right here, Lakers Center. We got elves and we got a, little, a mummy, Halloween fiend. You notice that mummy's wearing number six. You know why? Because he's the gold. LeBron James's number. When he was on the Miami Heat. Okay. So you have Edwards right here. Corliss Edwards, I believe. On the Boston Celtics.
Horton Tucker, three point shot. And Horton Tucker, I, let me look at this. Looks kind of tiny, but it does look like him. So that's good. It does look like him as a player. He has only a silver card in this game. What? That was out of bounds. Come on, Elf. Kelly Oubre Jr., what are you doing? Oh, my opponent has a Trevor Reza card. I haven't seen him in a while. You see Kelly Oubre Jr. right here? Where's Town Horton Tucker? That's, I'll try to alley oop with him, even though that's very hard to do. Nice shot right here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Crossover. Oh, dunk. Dunk right there. So hopefully next season they gave him a lot of uh, higher overall cards. As he's a pretty nice player now. KD gets dunked on. I saw that yesterday. Terry Rozier dunked on him. And um, that was a very awesome looking dunk. Like a great post. You don't even really see him in the dunk. But then uh, you see the picture. You see him getting dunked on. Because Kevin Durant, I think he came in late. He like ran late and then uh, was trying to block it. Or he was just standing there because he's really tall, Kevin Durant. He was just there late, and then he's ended up on the poster. I heard if you look at the look at the dunk on different angles, I heard that Kevin Durant didn't even really get. It doesn't look like he got dunked on. He just came in late, is what I've seen. But it definitely looks amazing that dunk. Great for Terry Rozier. Happy for him. I kind of like players like Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier, you can probably call him a player. He's a little bit like J.R. Smith. A little bit like Deion Waiters. But I, I actually really like players like him. He's very entertaining to watch. I believe after the dunk that Terry Rozier dunked on Kevin Durant. Let's do Mummy with a shot. Mummy with a shot. Inside paint shot. After Terry Rozier dunked on Kevin Durant, um, you see him, uh, Lamel Ball there, cheering, cheering him on. So I was happy to Lamel Ball. Me and Morris, Morris, hi, thank you for coming. And uh, how, 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 how have you been? You, are you okay? Hope you're doing well. Hello, Elite Plays. Thanks for coming. How are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Oh, sorry to hear that, Damien. Hope you're feeling better. And definitely uh, rest, sleep more, and stuff like that. Take care of yourself. I uh, hope you get feel better. Elite plays, you said Rockets lost. Disappointing, very disappointing. Did uh, James Harden play well? They still don't have DeMarcus Cousins. They still don't have John Wall yet. But I heard that maybe in the next few games they might get him back. So the Rockets actually uh James Harden playing really well. But the Rockets lose tonight. They're 0 and 2 now. James Harden 34 points. Oh, yeah, you got that for a Christmas present, right? Yes, uh, you got John Wall, right? Oh, that's like a Ruby LaMelo ball in that game now. 88 overall. And then there's also a Kobe Bryant card. But I think that Kobe Bryant is very hard to get. But awesome, you got John Wall. I know there's a Tom Horton Tucker in your game as well. I think he's a 70 overall. But for anybody who doesn't know, there's a Tom Pretty hard to find the auction house. So we're gonna go to the arena because uh, it was very slow to show down. We are this in this game. We are Clipper jerseys. Town 
Well, I got an John Moran. There was a couple of season three. Awesome for the 2K game. Awesome. Yeah, sir. Uh, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, sir's a. Uh, yeah, for 2K. Yeah. So for NBA Live Mobile, there was a Kobe Bryant card in season one. And then season two, season three, there was no Kobe Bryant card. Because Kobe Bryant, he signed with uh, 2K. Yeah, nobody has a Kobe Bryant card in, in NBA Live Mobile. So NBA Live Mobile, in season one, there was a Kobe Bryant card. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a Kobe Bryant card in, uh, in 2K. 2K has his rights. So Kobe Bryant, he signed with 2K. And like Michael Jordan as well. There's no Michael Jordan in NBA Live Mobile. But there's a Michael Jordan 2K. And, uh, and also Dwayne Wade is like that as well. Unfortunately, Dwayne Wade is like that as well. Because Kobe Bryant was in this game... Uh, in season one, because that was his last season in the NBA, and so when the NBA has his rights, uh, this license to EA, and so it's licensed to to EA. So in 2016, NBA Live Mobile, they have Kobe Bryant in the game. So if you go and look at old NBA Live Mobile videos. Ultimate Buckeye or uh, VNKGB Stopper. You see that there's a Kobe Bryant card in the game. It does look like Kobe Bryant. But after season one, when he retired, the season one was in 2016. Sorry, I'm saying a lot of words. So hopefully you can understand. It was in 2016. That was when Russell Westbrook was MVP. So it was a long time ago now. But yes, he was in the game. Now, Michael Jordan was... Wait, let me see if I can close the game. I think my game ended, right? Wait, not, not yet, not yet. Let me see what else is there. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, next time I'll probably say it again, the live stream. I'll, I'll talk more about it. But uh, that was a lot, so I ho hope you guys understand... There's a lot of stuff right there. Okay, let me just look at near the end. I'm gonna end it. But thank you. Oh yeah, so uh, obvious P. After season one, they lost the rights of Kobe Bryant, so nobody has him anymore. Nobody has his card. Nobody has that Kobe Bryant card. Clint Capella isn't 2K anymore. Interesting. I hope it's delicious soup. Let's just look at the ghost cards a little bit. And then until it was 1% my phone. And so, yeah, uh, for season three, we got to keep our cards. So I have a Dwayne Wade card in the game. Uh, but uh, there is no Dwayne Wade card. There's no new Dwayne Wade cards. But for season one, you cannot keep your cards as well. And you couldn't keep it to season two as well. That's why I've heard. Hey, thank you. And th thank you, Damian Morris Morris. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. I'm going to end the live stream. So, so, yeah, have a great night.